Hello all, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. We are now going along the big long road towards Jose, the Temple of Jose. Here we go. Fire up. Need a light. Boom. That's what I like to see. I want more of those spheres. Thank you. Oops, I forgot about the poison. Boom, Yimmy Yoon. Walker, come out here. This looks a lot easier.
So, how shall we do this? Major overkill. I always recommend, if anyone's playing this game, to do what I'm doing and level up. No. I didn't want to speak to you, but okay. Um, to always switch in characters and use every character at least once in every battle. It all adds up in the end. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Um, that's lucky. Not so lucky. What I want to do in here is I want to basically get a um, a summon out just take these both out at the same time really There we go. No stone gaze makes things easier. Also, Aeons, uh, short please, because I can't constantly keep waiting for them to do their thing. Get rid of this freaking uh, this thing because they're so annoying.
Here we go, after the fork in the road. Okay, preemptive, let's just get rid of this thing right here. Till Xanarkin. Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the Temple of Makalania. Oh, boy. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. We can't just skip all that, can we? Huh? Mm mm. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. Temple of Yevon Jose. Hey, new guy. Me? Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about Sin and Jet. Huh? You know her. She would distance herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah, you have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jekt? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> maybe even a little now. Just a little. Hey! I still don't buy your story, you hear? Whoa! Yuna, it is good to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. Oh. We escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Of all our chocobos, only this one made it. We make pretty poor chocobo-mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This, this is our just reward. Jose Temple?
The Lightning Mushroom Rock. It only opens when a summoner is addressing the faith. That means another summoner's already in there. Another summoner? What if it's Donna? We have to hurry. Right! In we go! I shall save it first. I get her. Loser! He's... Where is he? I found him. He was torn in half! I... That... idiot! What... What do I do now? I can't do this! I'm going back to Besaid! Mm, poor loser. Four thousand guild is lying around. Thank you. So you're a champion of Yevon now, Braska? I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm Bussy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. Okay. Just checking these. Making sure I got there's nothing in here I need. Guardian, no? 
Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those Crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. Will do. Passe! Oh, what? We're leaving! Be right there! See ya! Okie dokie, disappearing. The cloister of I am prepared for the cloister of trials, thank you. Alright, guardians, at attention! We are ready. All right, let's do it. Okie dokie, now the fun begins. Take that. Oops. Now this is used to open the door.
Oopsie. No, stop pressing the thing. Get that little flashing thing to the left. This gives me access to the destruction sphere. Thank you. I can't. I can't even remember. Like, think of how many times I've done these before. Like, I know these like so much off by heart. Should try. Stop pacing. We wait. Well, well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are. Are it, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Arin. No, Sir Arin. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough! Get back here! Hang in there, buddy, eh? <laughs> I swear! I'll never wash this hand again. <laughs> Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. Quite the show. These 
guardians. And Sir Oren too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Ixian. Oh yeah. If I remember correctly, there is actually a book around here. At least I'm pretty sure there is. It might be actually inside this little hut. Certain there was a um, that there was something here. Hmm. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. She's asleep. Let's go wake her up. I'm going back to Besaid. With Luzu gone? Yeah. It'd be hard fighting alone, wouldn't it? Most of the other Crusaders have already left. I'll go soon. Hmm. I was certain there was one here. I was sure of it. I was always like an Albert Primer that's like lying around somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just mistaken. Until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay, I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. <sighs> ah, morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush. Here. Your hair. 
<laughs> a summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> 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 oh, you too, Sir Orin? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Now I can save it as we're leaving. Excuse me, thank you. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. You expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. Okay, on towards the Moonflow. magic skills.
let's increase the let's do the this first and Set of the Ra collection. Get that as well, I guess. One I'm here. Thanks, lady. Oh, look, an Ochu. Everyone, look sharp. in your magic. Do so much damage, it's fantastic. Or well, Titus does so much damage, I should say. Did 
Did I use everyone already? Hey, yes. Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kamari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari. Lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari. Howl alone. Howl alone. <laughs> Do those two... Uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari will deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But... Uh... It's Kimari's problem. You can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah.
who's next. Enough. No time to waste. Let's go. Okay, that summoner lady is coming up ahead, so I want to make sure I'm nice and leveled up for uh, No problem.
Ooh, I've drive overdrive mode warrior. That means every time that I attack and do damage, my overdrive meter goes up. to her or not. Come on. Thank you. There were fewer fiends in my time. Oh really? Ha! Oh yeah. Now I'll talk to her. Let's see if we can uh, beat her this time again. We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your Aeons. Well, shall we? Because Ifrit can uh, heal himself. That's a, bit, that's a bit quicker, isn't it? He just pops out of nowhere. Don't hold anything back. Show me what you've learned. Once I heal myself, I'll do it, but... Well, this could end badly, but here we go.
I think it's over now. It's gonna use like a billion different attacks, one after the other. Yeah, dang. Ooh. It's not weak, so it's gonna be difficult to um This could actually be good. I won't die to that, but I can use another second Hellfire and hopefully this wins. If not, it's over. Yes! Hell yeah! Summoner's Soul. So that Summoner's Soul is what I can use to upgrade my uh, my uh, Aeons. Yeah, I know this. Skip. to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna. Perfect. I'm pretty sure now... <laughs> I can give... Yeah. With enough of these potions, I can literally give them to learn, like, all that sort of stuff. Um, I... I don't know what the point of giving them life is, because, well... They can't revive themselves. Okay, here we go.
nearly there. Another Ochu. Here we go. Say your prayers. Yeah. Oh, the Oshu dance sucks. Let them come. Oh, great. So be it. Enough. I wanted to overkill it, but oh well. the moon flow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? I got an idea. We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm.
This is a shoe puff. Whoa! Uh, let's ride! Come on, let's go! All right. We board soon as we're ready, huh? I like this story that Oren says. Years ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk, thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jack never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. No, oh, no, it's all good. Bad idea, yes. Please, we beg of you. Impossible, impossible. What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that, just... <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain, sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. <clears throat> yeah! Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Okay, so. I'm actually going to end this episode here. It went on for a bit longer because I couldn't get to a save point, but that's okay. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you all in the next one. So uh, catch you then.